Alright everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. So today I want to talk about something that isn't Chucky, and something that more relates to the whole game, which, you know, we always do, but it's a topic that gets brought up all the time, and if you read the title, you know what I'm talking about, and that is SBMM. For those who don't know what that stands for, that is Skill-Based Matchmaking, and or the MMR system, which is a matchmaking rank ranking. Now, a lot of people have complaints about SBMM and MMR in general, and kind of attest it to the reason why this game has been losing numbers on Steam ever since its introduction. Now, do I think that's a factor? For sure, I do. Um, I don't think it's the only factor, but I do think it's part of it. Now, that's not what this video is about. It's not about player retention or us losing players or not gaining as many back with certain chapters. Although I will add this in here, Chucky and Xenomorph are still very niche chapters. I don't care what anyone says. Alien is a very popular franchise, but it's not as popular as some of us think. And Chucky has been going for all... He's from the 80s. He, he, he's still relevant, but not as much as he was. He's more recognizable than he is, like, known, if that makes any sense. Regardless, not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about matchmaking. So, my thoughts on MMR and SBMM have been the same for a while. I really don't care. I really, really don't care. Um, I don't play the game any different and never have since its introduction. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. If the team I go against is great or bad, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but I think SBMM does have some inherent issues that could easily be fixed with two easy changes in my opinion. One kind of relates to the other, and that is add a ranked mode. <laughs> now, I'm not actually that hyper competitive at this game, um, but I still would love a ranked mode. <laughs> uh, my ideas for implementing it, I'm probably going to do a whole video on this, but my ideas for implementing it were making it uh, solo queue only. And then, you know, killers can be who they want, but that way survivors can't just swift because why wouldn't you swift in ranked mode? Uh, but that leads me into the second point of why I think. SBMM is actually super bad, and it's not because it makes the game sweatier. I actually don't attest to that. Uh, I do think it gives you higher caliber survivors, and, you know, when you're playing uh, Survivor, it gives you killers who play in more, uh, let's say, meaningful ways. <laughs> Much more optimal play on both sides. I actually don't have a problem with that. I feel like if you're playing that well... To the point to where you're winning most of your matches, you should be going against players who are at or near your skill level. Now, SBMM does have the issue of it doesn't always work because I have I don't know my MMR, which is gonna we're gonna bring that up here in a second. But I don't know my MMR. But for all I know, uh, I I win a lot of my matches, so I would think it's at least decently high. I win about eighty percent of my matches or so, even running the bullshit I run. And I still sometimes get, like, really baby survivors. Survivors who have no idea what they're doing, clearly. And I think that's a bigger issue, honestly. Um, I'm all for the variety, but yeah, it's just... Whatever. Um, I think the other big issue with SBMM, and I kind of just brought it up, is the idea of not being able to see it. Now, the reason I have an issue with this isn't because uh, I want to know if I'm better than everybody or anything like that. The reason I have an issue with it is because it, it means that the idea of high or low MMR has no validity unless you hack into the game. Unless you hack into the game and see what your exact MMR score, it means nothing. No one can prove you wrong. No one can prove you right. It doesn't matter if you win 90% of your matches. Uh, if someone comes in and sees you playing against baby survivors because the matchmaking messed up a little bit, well, guess what? That's what they're going to assume your MMR is, and it doesn't matter. On top of that, I'm not proving it. The way I've heard some people say, well, you can just tell. While I agree with the idea of this, you cannot base an objective fact on a feeling. That's not how this works. You can't be like, well, those survivors were clearly very gen efficient, and they knew how to loop. Um, one, it could have been a good match for the looping. The RNG could have been in their favor as far as the, the certain tiles that spawned. Uh, they could have just all spawned directly on the generators and you just, you know, were having a bad match and didn't go pressure those gens, etc., etc. The map could just be really big and there's no way for you to get to the other gens. 
Like, th there's a lot of things that go into uh, gen efficiency and how well a survivor does at looping. It's not to say you can't tell a good survivor versus a bad one, or a good killer versus a bad killer. I'm not saying that at all. My point is, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. None of us can prove what our MMR ranking is. Now, to the idea of it makes the game sweatier. Does it make the game sweatier? Technically, yes, but I don't attest to that idea fully. Because the, the common argument I hear is, well, I can't bring fun builds because if I do, I'm just going to lose my matches. Well, here's the thing about MMR. If it's working how it's intended, which it doesn't, by the way, uh, but if it's working as it's intended to, if you lose enough of your matches running that fun build you like, or run it, or playing that bad killer you like, or low tier, I'm not going to say bad, uh, eventually you'll get matched against players who are at that caliber of the gameplay you're playing. And on the other side of it, where people are like, well, I just want to play casually. If you were playing casually enough to still win most of your matches without you, like, quote, trying, then, yeah, of course you're going to start playing against people who are on your level that's just just how this works do i think it should be loosened a bit yeah of course i do um i'm not gonna be that much of a stickler towards it i just don't agree with a lot of the hate towards sbmm i really don't especially in this game in a few other games i kind of get the argument but it, dead by daylight is so rng dependent I, like it usually doesn't even really matter on someone's skill on some some aspects of the game for example if you are playing killer and survivor no one brings map offerings all of you are base kit no add-ons no items or anything and the survivors get a map like the game and you're playing i don't know fucking clown or something it doesn't matter the chances of you winning that match are very slim not impossible mind you but very slim especially if they know what they're doing but even if they don't if all they do is run around pre-dropping pallets it doesn't matter at the end of the day, you could argue, well, that's, that's what they're supposed to do anyways. But, yeah, I think the biggest issue with MMR, like I said, is you can't see it, and I think adding a ranked mode would fix that inherent issue. Um, I know Mr. Hedick did a video on this today, and I, yeah, I feel bad because I kind of feel like I'm stealing his idea for it. But, yeah, like, SBMM is just, I think it's fine. I really don't notice that much tangible difference in my games. Um, once again, I get those outliers where like a match will last like four and a half minutes because the gens fly that quick and I don't bring any slowdown, but that happened before SBMM. It, it just did, and I don't want to sit here and say it happens every match because it really doesn't. I've been keeping track of my matches when I'm playing Chucky with no add-ons or anything like that, and matches last about, on average, nine to ten minutes, which I don't think is ridiculous on either side. I think it's about average. <laughs> Once again, I have those couple outliers where it's four and a half minutes or even those couple that where it lasts for like 12 to 15 minutes without me even really trying. But I really do think we need to stop complaining about SBMM. If you're not having fun with the game, stop playing the game or take a break or whatever, that's understandable. But don't blame SBMM for the reason your fun is just lost from this game. I, I, I just don't attest to the, the idea of I have to play against players who are on the same level as me, therefore I'm not having fun. Like, I kind of do to a degree, but if your argument is I want more variety, I think we still get the variety. It's just not as common, I guess, but MMR isn't even really that strict in my experience. And once again, there's a lot of factors that go into this. I play in the middle of the night on, on East servers, so maybe my SBMM isn't as strict as some others. Um, so that, that could be a factor. I play basically one or two killers all the time. So maybe that makes it more strict for me, but also less strict at the same time. I'm not really bouncing around on my builds either. Maybe that's part of it. But like I said, I just I just don't attest to it. I, I've had matches where I, I do terrible and matches where I do good. And I, I don't know. I still have fun with this game, even since they added SBMM. I've never complained because of MMR. Now, granted, there are some times where I'm like, wow, I don't think I'm that good at this game when I'm playing against some some survivors, uh, or even some killers, but yeah, it, and like, does it encourage people to like camp and, and tunnel and things like this? I suppose, but at the same time, I feel like even if SBMM wasn't there, people would still do it. Like, what is the real encouragement, right? Because we keep constantly saying, 
I'm getting punished for winning because my MMR goes up. Okay, well then stop trying as hard and then your MMR will kind of settle, right? But then we get into this, this perspective of, okay, well, if I... <laughs> If I don't want it to, like, why would you want it to go up? You're getting punished. So why are you sweating and tryharding if that's the case? If That's a mentality problem with the player base and honestly gamers in general right now. I, I think a lot of gamers are too invested on trying to be the best, quote unquote. And, and yeah, that, that's where the issue stems from, in my honest opinion. Not the SBMM itself. The reason why I bring this up, too, is because I feel like if they implemented SBMM and didn't tell anybody, I don't think any of us would be complaining about it. And I think that's the issue right there. To me, them being transparent about it was the worst mistake they could have done with it. Because now it's a scapegoat. And I think that is a bigger issue. <laughs> For real, if they just shadow added it and didn't tell anybody, I don't think anyone would be complaining about it. Obviously, because they couldn't. But... Yeah, I don't think it would have gotten as much backlash as it did, and the game would be in a better spot, in my opinion, if people didn't know. In any case, I've ranted about SB Men, um, and this is probably the only time I'm ever going to talk about it, if I'm being honest with you guys. I don't like talking about it because I really don't care. But, tell me what you guys think. I know people have very, very heated opinions on this topic, and it's fine. If you don't like it, that's fine. I understand the frustration with it. I really do. If you do, I would love to hear your side of the story too because I don't hear that often enough, I feel. Um, if you don't like my thoughts on it, you can call me a dumb shit. That's fine. Just don't expect me to agree. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a good one. Uh, links and such are below. And uh, yeah, bye.